And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the new Lab of Legends mode, the Saltwater Scourge. This is something that looks really, really awesome and I've been super excited all day to try out. This is going to be our very first time trying out this new Lab of Legends mode and um, I haven't seen this at all, right? Like we, we got the uh, news about it yesterday and the uh, intro video and stuff of what it looks like. It looks awesome. We got three choices here. It looks like we're going to be starting our adventure with the Saltwater Scourge. We can choose one of the three champions and then we are going to try to take down Gangplank at the very end. We're going to start in the middle. Let's start with Tom Kench. It is my mouth into which all travels end. Let's do it. Let's let's play Tom Kench. That's going to be our first one. Yo, this looks awesome. All right, so that's probably a boss battle. Oh, there's the final boss. All right, so it looks like we get these different nodes and stuff. Okay, so we have two paths we can go on. Can we, okay, so we can like zoom in and zoom out like this. Okay, there we go. Whoa, dude, this looks awesome. I kind of want to go, okay. Let's, let's kind of click on these and see what they do. All right, Desert Legion. Okay, so this way goes to our shop. This way goes towards the chest. Let's go towards the chest. So it looks like we have 20 health, zero something. Oh, okay, here's our deck. So our deck has 18 cards, two Krusty Codger, two Health Potion, two Boxtopus, two Bayou Brunch, Lounging, there are two of all of them. Lounging Lizard, Monkey Idol, Tom Kench, Slippery Wave Rider, and Citrus Courier. All right, cool. So, all right, this is gold. That is that symbol. So we're, we're level one, no gold, no power. Okay, let's travel over here. Desert Legion, Azir soldiers rise from the sands, defending their homes and shifting incorporeal forms. Okay, so the reward will be some gold and a card, it looks like. Let's fight. Dude, this looks awesome. Okay, the Desert Legion. Oh, I need to get the Bilgewater board up in here. I wonder if I can change that. Should be able to. All right, we're going to, I don't know, could keep all this, I guess. No, let's get some earlier blockers. We'll just send all those back. Look, there we go. Got a two mana unit. Even though a box post isn't the best blocker, but there we go, still have two and a three. Yeah, we need to get the bilge water board for the salt water scourge. Okay, so they're starting at 10 life. I only got 11 cards left. Go get them, powder monkeys. Ooh, awakening sands. So just like Lab of Legends, they're probably just attacking all the time. So you get Health Potion to heal Tom Kench, that's pretty cool. I guess this isn't lethal, they blocked the 3-1. All right, so I'm gonna go Wave Rider, so I still have two mana for Acquire Taste. Oh, ouch. That was a pretty good card. Yeah, that was a pretty good card. Huh. You had your chance to walk away. What's the chances that the lab doesn't block? <laughs> yeah, probably not very good. Yeah, what's up, Delphinus? Yeah, we're going Tom Kench. Just started. 
Okay, you got different starter fighter units, so like you got like a different starting deck than what we got. Like with Tom Kench. Or just like your different opponent. We didn't do any damage to them this round, did we? No, we did not. Quick an ally. You capture you. Okay. The people you're fighting are different. So you got you got Swain, not not Azir. Well, that's really cool. So that's gonna change. That's really cool. All right, so this is a this is a cool um, interaction between Tom Kench and Boxtopus. We just ate up we ate the Boxtopus. That was a three one. It's gonna come back with the level up, but it comes back as a three four. Because it comes back as it summoned it. This play deal three damage to me isn't gonna happen because we didn't we didn't play it, it was just summoned. Alright, gonna go ahead and just send on in here. I don't think we can go above 20 health. Might as well double check though. Hmm. They shall arise. Well, I didn't even get to do any damage to them, so my Citrus Courier doesn't even work. Okay, I thought I, I thought I just had that, but okay, I got eight cards left. Oh, that is not good. All right, here, eat one of these things. Allow me a small sample. So yeah, so there's gonna be, I guess there's gonna just be a lot of different, um, yeah, a lot of different choices and everything with with each different game mode. Man, this is awesome. I we need to get the bilge water board though. Okay, so they're at four. Man, this is so greedy. But I want to just attack here. I don't think they can do anything about this. Yeah. All right, cool. Put them down to one. Use the Citrus Courier. Okay, so basically what I did there is I used the Citrus Courier to heal my Nexus. And so I'm back up to 19 for like... Because, you know, we're going to continue on with the same life total, I assume. That's just kind of what always happens with these. You have your one life total. So now we're at 19 instead of 16. Now we gormandize. Okay. Let's go get our bilge water board, if I can figure out how to do that. Okay, so we received 50 gold and 100 adventure XP, and we choose a card to add to the deck. Ooh, Malphite's expensive, but, like, is the most powerful thing, you know, just because it's a 610 tough, which is awesome. Lost Riches would put a couple treasures in our deck? Or more monkey idols? I did like the monkey idol. Usually, I choose, you want to choose cheap cards. Hmm. Okay, so none of these are like slam dunks. Definitely take. I th I kind of think that I'm gonna take. I don't know, Chad. What do you What do y'all What do y'all want? I I, I kind of don't want to take the monkey out. I kind of want to take one of these two, either the Lost Riches or the Malphite. I'm kind of thinking the Malphite. What's up, Fifty Six Chicken Wings? We got the brand brand new Saltwater Scourge mode. Nasher says the easy treasure. Herman says Malphite. Yeah, we're not Twisted Fates. We're not drawing a ton. Let's take the Malphite. Malphite's cool. Let's just take a new champion. Nice. You've reached level two. Whoa, that means we get reinforcements. Okay. Well, with Tom Kench, I feel like Tarek pairs the best with Tom Kench, where we have Bastion, 
to protect Tom Kench and Mountain Scryer can make it larger and stuff. Let's go with the Tarek. I don't like how Tarek and Tom Kench both cost four mana, though. But these don't really pair with Tarek. Or Tom Kench, sorry. Um, Aurelia doesn't really pair with Tom Kench either. Oh, we also got health plus two. Okay, just overall. So now our total health to hold, health total can be 22. All right, let's see if... Nope. Let's see if I can figure out how to change the map. All right, let's go over here. The glowing chest. It's glowing. Is that a good thing, do you think? I don't know. Maybe. Let's travel over there. Oh, we get a decision. Open the treasure or leave. All right, select a spell and add two copies to your deck. The list... When cast, summon a random one cost Poro. Dude, this is so cool. Strong arm that costs five mana, or crumble when cast, heal your nexus equal to my cost. That's healing your nexus a lot, equal to my cost, so it'll heal five. That's a lot. I actually kind of want to take this the list. Honestly, zero mana. Give something vulnerable? That, mm. And play in your hand. Man, these are all really cool. You know what? I don't play strong arm hardly ever. Let's take strong arm. That sounds like a cool bilge water card. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going up the map. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. So we can still go over here to the Yordle Grifter. Or we can go up here to the Wiggly Burble Fish. So basically, you can. I, it looks like you can like keep fighting like these different ones, and then maybe power up more so you can be at a higher power before you're heading on over towards Gangplank. We'll just head on over to the Wigg Wiggly Burble Fish. Okay, round round start. Refill one spell mana. That's for the enemy. Okay, the enemy has that power, not me. Okay, loadout. Here we go. Board. Bilgewater. There we go. Now, let's use... Let's use Fizz. Where's Fizz at? Yeah. There's no background, like, music at all on this. That's that's one thing that I wish, like, on that screen and stuff, that they would have, like, some background music. Mordecai, yes, this was just announced yesterday and then implemented today. This is a new game mode, new Lab of Legends mode called the Saltwater Scourge, which where you choose one of three um, Bilgewater champions, Misfortune, Tom Kench, or Twisted Fate. We're using Tom Kench. And you go on an adventure, and we're going to try to take down Gangplank eventually. So it looks like, fun fact, you always draw your champion in your opening hand. Okay, so they just give you your champion immediately. That's one of your four cards. Alright, we'll save this two mana. That doesn't seem like a good attack. They're testing to see if I'll block or not. But I'm gonna block, I'm not scared. Ooh, Lost Riches. We could have had that card, but we got Malphite instead. So we got three champions now. We got Malphite, we got Tarek, and we have Tom Kench. That's some weird, cha weird champion combinations, that's for sure. Tom Kench has the best voice lines. I'm sure there's something for my tastes. Three, four, five, six, seven. Going down to one. Maybe they play a spell. Ah, I was hoping they play a spell and then I bash in. I could have just bashed into Tom Kench first. I probably should have. Give me give me this thing. What is this thing? Wiggly Burblefish? Give me that. Alright, I'll save spell man. Sweet strong arm is sweet. Are there any rewards for it? Um they have the bonus so um, each day, whenever you play Lab of Legends, your first 
X amount of games. I don't know the exact amount, but your first X amount of games, you get bonus XP. Um, so you get so that's one thing you get bonus XP for them. But besides that, it's, there's not really too much rewards. These are all just kind of for fun. Um, there is an icon that you know you can get the Tom Kench icon, the Twisted Fate icon. You know, for the first time that you win with any of these modes. All right, so looks like I'm going down to twenty. Oh, I'll be happy to accommodate you, Pablo. So we can also, so Tarek can make, Tarek can make Tom Kench tough, which I guess I could have just played this Bastion to start with, but oh well. I just thought I was just attacking and killing them, so I didn't really care. That's going to be a good combination, though, like, make Tom Kench tough and then eat stuff with the acquired taste. Good combo. Nice. Ice Cream said, I just completed a run with Tom and Jarvin, and at the end, I had a six region deck. Okay, so we, we're we going to receive 80 gold and 150 adventure XP, and we get to choose a card to add to our deck. All right, so Star Shepherd, plus one, plus one, Fury, and I'm a dragon. That's pretty sweet. A one, four, Fury, Star Shepherd. I like that a lot. Um, I like that more than the Shakedown. What is this card? So this is 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, play... Oh yeah, it's play and then troll chant when it, when you play. Then it gets plus 2, plus 0, plus 2. We already have a lot of 4 mana units. Let's get another 1-drop. That's a good 1-drop. Okay, we have a lot of ways we can go now. Oh, we've already reached level 3? Man, you level up super fast here. So we get to choose a power. Okay. Allies have attack, raise my power to match my health. That sounds pretty good with Tom Kench. But that's not amazing. Round start, refill your spell mana. Yes. Free spells. Round, yeah, we're doing this. We're doing round start, uh, refill your spell mana. Absolutely. All right, we get two more health. Let's zoom out. All right, what is what is this thing? Dredge Dredgers. All right, and this is the shop. Let's go to the shop over here. So we got, what, 130 gold? Let's check out this shop. What do we got? Top shelf, bottom shelf. Come in, come in. There's something for everyone here. We can buy a field promotion. Meh. Bayou Brunch has win cast, draw a card. That's what that says there, win cast, draw a card. Out of the way, win cast, summon a random one cost Poro. I don't really need any of those, to be honest. What about bottom shelf? Ooh, boxed puss. Support, give my ally... Supported ally plus one plus one this round. Okay. That's not bad. That, that helps out our Taric. Hmm. Only 15 coins for this field promotion. That's super cheap. But it's just like we don't really have anything good to field promotion. Like we're not going to field promotion like Taric or Tom Kench. It's not really that great. So we've only played two games so far, Michael. Yeah, so we're, you're, you're coming in right, like right at the beginning of this new lab for us. I guess, I guess I'm passing, honestly. I think, I think I'm just going to leave. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave. All right, this, this fight looks important. It's gold. I don't know what that means, but we're going to, we're going to do it. It's gold. Oh, haha. It's a new shop. Look at that. Trash from the sea. The strange creatures lay out some scavenged items for sale. They are... Worse for wear, but also quite cheap. Okay, so we can either take treasure trove plus one cost. Um, this thing plus one cost, or shadows of the past plus that has fleeting. Obviously, we're taking this. This is incredible. We get this treasure trove plus one, like a six mana treasure trove that we could just draw and just have. And remember, our um, yeah, we're purchasing that. Oh, I guess you can purchase as many as you want. I guess you could continue to purchase. Let's, all right, let's let's go this way. What's over here? Hidden? I don't know. I don't know what's over here, but it looks cool. Let's go this way. When a player goes deep, create a treasure in their hand. Ooh. We should go deep pretty fast. We don't have very many cards. 
Yeah, we're just gonna have a main deck treasure. That's crazy. I think the, the reward for finishing is you get the icon, the player icon, uh, with the different champion that you that you finish. You get like a top hat for Tom Kench, and so on. Well, hmm. I guess I'll keep. We could send the Bastion back, but Bastion's also cool. So whenever you go deep, create a treasure. So we're at 24. They're at 35. We're a lot closer to deep than they are. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. So we can play like Tom Kench on four, and then Tarek plus. We'll just trade. Of course, with this mode, you want to just keep your life total as high as possible. Um, Tarek plus Bastion on five with that attack. Yeah, so uh, Mordecai says, is there any reason not to take every fight? Um, and the answer is probably no. Like, no, if you want to just, like, make the, the most powerful deck, you can just take every fight. But you can just kind of save time and skip some fights if you want. Also, um, I think at the end of the run, you'll get a specific score. You'll get, like, a, a score depending on how well you did. And so... If you want, so maybe we need to take every fight if we want the highest score we can have. Oh man, there's the treasure trove. Okay, we gotta just play treasure trove, right? Yeah, we're doing treasure trove. Let's go. Five random cards and they all cost zero. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. Okay, a vengeance. All right, not gonna lie, not not necessarily the best cards, but we only have like really just the Scar Stain Stefan was the only card that mattered because I could just acquire taste. Like that was my plan. I was just gonna acquire taste the other thing anyway. All right, but we'll just play this. Play this. Get a serpent. I can't even cast. <laughs> can't even cast this fresh offerings if you don't have the three units to die this round. Now we gormandize. Okay. Battle rewards. Choose a card. Um, we can get a fearsome fledgling Stellicorn. How could they ever deal with this? A 1-2 Fearsome. Okay, Plunder costs 3 less for Mind Meld, but we're not really going to Plunder and then play Mind Meld and then attack, right? So that doesn't that doesn't really help us. So I guess a Boom Ship, I suppose. But I guess you think we should take the unit with Lifesteal? Okay, just we should just have Lifesteal for this mode. Yeah, Zacky Boy, this is the brand new Labs. Brand new labs. We are starting with... We are with Tom Kench. We're eventually going to get to Gangplank. So we can... Can we go back to the... We can travel back to the shop again? Okay, and it's the same things. Okay, good to know. So you can go back to these. Good to know, if we wanted them. All right, so let's see. What is what is this Reaver's Row now? Awesome. We can buy a new card. If you hope to make a name for yourself in Bilgewater, head to Reaver's Row. So we can have just a regular Inspiring Mentor or Spacey Sketcher with plus one, plus one, or Daring Poro with Overwhelm. I like the Spacey Sketcher with plus one, plus one. I like this 2-2 two, two Spacey Sketcher. We'll usually have some kind of card that's not that good that we'd rather just discard so yeah let's get some spacey sketchers and then you can oh we can pay 40 and buy more of them what does our deck look like oh nope cancel that's not what i wanted to do info you have to hit this button there's our deck 
Okay, so we have one Spacey Sketcher and one Star Shepherd. Okay, just one copy of these cards. Oh, and only one Treasure Trove. Wait, can I buy more of those Treasure Troves? Nah. Can't Oh, because I can't afford it. But we could. All right, yeah, we need more gold. Let's let's defeat everybody. Yeah, question is if you bought another, does it get another Doran's Blade? And I I don't think so. Let's see. Let's head back over here. That's a good question. I think it. I don't believe it would get another Doran's Blade. No, because see now the Doran's Blade thing is gone. So now you can just spend forty gold to buy a two two Spacey Sketcher. Um. So no. But wait, I have so I have seventy five gold. What do you mean I can't afford this? Does it only cost fifty? It only costs fifty. But I guess so. Yeah. So they're saying it's just gone. Yeah. It's it's just not here anymore. You can't buy more of those. Yeah. That card too good. It expired. All right, Yordle Grifter, you you going down? Going down with the fight. So now we just can't we can't buy that treasure anymore. All right, Tali's you started on and says my map is differently shaped. Yeah, so that's cool. So they're they're kind of like randomized maps. So there'll be a different experience each time you play it. That's really cool. All right, we'll keep Tom Kench and we'll keep Krusty Codger. Send the other two back. Who's the plunder deck now? Man, I don't want to discard Malphite. Find something else to discard. You're also versus Yordle Grifter right now? I'm still good to scrap. All right, I guess maybe I'm discarding this. We'll discard the... Yeah, we'll discard the fire brush. Oh, I can't play the trickster right now. But I can't play the messenger. And I can do the stun two enemies. But that's still not lethal. Man, this is so much cool. This is so cool. I, I almost said so much fun. I, I was trying to say so much fun and so cool at the same time. But yeah, this is so much fun. Um, Erlurk says, Dregs have one of a kind to buy Reavers 2 and Shop 3. Okay. Good to know. So you can buy two from the Reavers, only one from the dregs, and if you're at the shop, you can buy three. Okay. Oh, I don't require men. Sorry, Yordle Grifter. I wonder if they're going to have um, increased difficulties with this also in the future. How they started off with their normal Lab of Legends, and that's all there was, and then they added in you know, like the normal heroic, um, hard, hard mode heroic legendary. They did say that, that this is just the beginning of this mode. They they do want to have like they're they're planning on more different maps, right? Like we're we're the Saltwater Scourge in, in Bilgewater. They're gonna you know do one for the different regions, other some other regions as well. Nexus healing always important, but then again we could get some cool sea monsters. It's it's kind of difficult to go deep. I think maybe we should just take the Nexus healing. I don't know Devour Depths. I want Devour Adepts. That's just an awesome card. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Which one would y'all take? I'm take. I think I'm taking. I don't know how important the Nexus Healing is going to be. As far as Broadback Protector goes. Don't I have? Oh, wait, cancel. No, 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 no. Don't I have health potion? Oh yeah, I have health potion. I'm okay. I don't need. I don't need more nexus healing. Stop. This is <laughs> this back arrow. I just want to keep hitting this back arrow all the time. All right, devour. Let's go devour. I already have a super big expensive uh, seven mana champion with Malphite. Looks like we're about to level up after the next battle. All right, let's travel here. 
Well, you know, let's buy another Spacey Sketcher. That's actually just a good card. All right, so yeah, we can see the little gold dots up here. So yeah, you can, you can purchase two of them total. I wonder if I should buy Inspiring Mentor, just have a, you know, just get more one drops. Maybe. I'm going to take that Space Sketcher, though. All right, so enemy power, game start, draw a bubble bear. Allied bubble bears have round start, grant me plus one plus zero. Yes, bubble bear. Hey, don't you see the sign? No swimming. Fight. Urlok says, I love how I got a special event from Misfortune to get Siren. Wonder what you'll get for Tom. Like, do you have, so you have, like, you had a special event to get the actual card, the Siren, in your collection? In this mode? Hey, we didn't start with Tom Kench. Yeah, we didn't start, we didn't start with our champion. It's bubble time. Tom says I fought a much harder variant of this bubble bear guy. So we can round three treasure trove while still playing stuff on round one and round two. That is really cool how they um, how they just change though, like the the path and everything. It's not just the same opponents all the time. All right, I guess I'm just doing that. Basically trading two for one. Treasure trove. Let's go. What do we get? Dude, this, just having treasure trove in your deck is busted. Okay, we just got a whole bunch of two drops, but. We were forged in dragon fire. If they don't break, They'll burn. Oh, I should have done that on an ephemeral. I should have played this ephemeral thing. That is crazy that we got four cards that each cost two mana, though. And then, yeah, I should have just done that on one of these ephemerals. Morning Light. Yeah, that could be a 4 4, which that's actually important. That was. What? They just want their bubble bear to die? I don't know. That's that's the I'm gonna play a card. <laughs> okay, so about the um, about the the uh, special event with the misfortune to get the siren in, in the collection. It says it was a hidden exclamation point on the map. Some story about her ship, and I got two sirens with a buff to choose. Nice. That's cool. Okay, battle rewards. Oh man, we can get Eclipse Dragon, Petty Officer with support, or the Scrap Dash. Okay, I don't care about the Scrap Dash assembly, but man, I already have my curve's already high. But Eclipse Dragon is really powerful. You know, like Nightfall on this thing. And it could be F Fearsome Fury, Petty Officer with support. All right, we're gonna. The responsible thing is to take the Petty Officer but my heart tells me to take the Eclipse Dragon. I think I can take the Eclipse Dragon. Yeah, we'll be fine, right? I don't know. I don't know how difficult these things get. All right, I'm taking the Eclipse Dragon. All right, we leveled up. Level four. Nice. Ooh, okay. Choose an item for the champion. Start of game, draw me if I'm not in your hand. Nah, elusive. Eh, barrier. See, barrier only is only a one-round thing. None of these are actually that good. Wait, so actually... Okay, so the elusive and the barrier I don't really care about. So let's take this thing. Because I think this means that we can mulligan away the Tom Kench, actually. And then it won't be like one of the first four. So I think we can just take that. Naked Knight with the resub. Thank you so much there. Seven amazing months. I appreciate that. Let's head to the shop. What do we have? We got our featured card, the Slippery Wave Rider with the Vampiric Scepter. When I am summoned, heal your nexus equal to my cost. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. All right, what is this thing? 
240, reduce my cost by the cost of your most expensive ally champion. Okay, so we play like Tom Kench at four, and now Razor Skill Hunter costs one? Wow. Or we can have one mana double trouble, which is also very good. What we got bottom shelf? I forgot, there's two shelves. Bottom shelf, okay. Bastion, win, win cast. Sorry, this, this is just right. That's like where my camera is, sorry. Win cast, there's a 50% chance to create a copy of me in hand the this is <laughs> that costs zero this round okay all right so when cast there's a 50 percent chance to create a copy of me in hand that costs zero this round eh sunforger attack nab one it's lifesteal lifesteal is always really good or we're gonna just get more copies of the star shepherd that's a good card yeah this is awesome. Okay, what do we want to get? So we only have 115 gold. Let's get this thing with the Vampiric Scepter. I don't know, is that even... I think it's, it's only cost 60. Yeah, let's get the Vampiric Scepter. Now I, now I don't have any, any gold. We need to do some more fighting, get some more gold, and come back to that. All right, we are on our way. This is probably like, I think this means like what level you have to be. It's like you have to be level two for this. I think that's what this, this number here is, is like what level you have to be. All right, let's go fight Jaw Hunters. Whenever you summon a non-sea monster ally, toss two. Load the sea stretches long before us with mighty jaws stretched agape below. You have Twisted Fate, Jinx, Sivir, and Nasus in your deck? That's a powerful deck. I have Tom Kench, Malphite, and Taric. <laughs> I got some, I got some random champions, that's for sure. Oh no no, I meant to mulligan the, the Tom Kench. Cause then it would come back in my hand, right? It has that power. <laughs> well, it could have had an additional card, but I decided not to. Okay, so yeah, what is the deal with this? So they start with zero mana the first round? That's weird, isn't it? And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Okay, the super because it's a super low enemy, and, and so they start weaker than you. So they'll so y'all are saying that the enemies will get more powerful then? Okay, it will get harder. Okay. Today. Sunk cost and hunting fleet. Dude, I'm glad they did this in Bilgewater too. Bilgewater is a sweet region. What's up, Maximus? Yep. Everything's going great. And every yeah, everything's going good. Good to be back. And I'm super excited about this new game mode as well. But yeah, uh, have a good time with your dad there. And I will see you later. What's up, McCanns? Okay, the Slippery Wave Rider has whenever we play it we heal our nexus so i kind of want to play this before we kill them i'll just get rid of them chomp up the golden narwhal and there we go Okay, battle rewards. What do we got? 
So we have Island Navigator, so I'm going to draw a card, Death Lotus, or Inviolus Vox. It's either the Navigator or the Vox. I don't think I want this Death... I mean, I guess I don't really have very much interaction, so maybe just take this Death Lotus in case we run into something like that we need more interaction, because we don't really need more four and six mana units that are, like, pretty cool. So I guess I'll take this Death Lotus, even though I don't really like it, but you never know. Maybe, maybe we run into a spot where we need that. Glorious Chest? Yes. What do we get? Uh... We can give Sojourner's Quick Attack, Monkey Idol Spell Shield, or Malphite Barrier. To be honest, none of these are that good. I guess we're going with the Quick Attack with the Sojourners. <laughs> this thing doesn't really need Spell Shield. I don't know. I guess I could give the Monkey Idol Spell Shield. We'll just go with that. I wish they would save like wherever you are. You don't, don't have to zoom out every time. Okay, how much gold do we got? We got 105. What did we want to buy in here? More of what Wave Riders cost 30. More of these things cost 40. Alright, we'll just pass. So I assume, like a healer, rest up, you'll need it. Like, I already have 26 health, so I'm going to just not go there, because <laughs> I already have 26 health out of 26. So I don't think that we can do anything with that. Alright, the Vagabond. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Game start. Summon a Warlord's Palace. The first time an ally Warlord's Palace countdown to zero. Steal a mana gem from the enemy. Okay, we're starting to get into some real fights here now. Oh, Makeshift Tom says at healing spots, you can instead cut cards from your deck. Rather than heal. I like that. Okay. That's really cool. Alright, Mulligan Tom Kench. And... I think I'll just mulligan those. I don't know. They're good cards, though. Yeah, I'll just send them back. Because now we should draw a Tom Kench, right? Round start? Yes. Because of that power. Okay, cool. So we get an extra card each round. Got it. Sorry, strong arm. I just don't feel like we're going to be using you. Alright, so we can make three mana Tom Kench. <laughs> I got this fledgling Stellicorn. Steel Spell Shield. I'm gonna save this Moon Silver actually. Let's get some monkey idols out here. Worries fall from us like water. Watch ahead. We're not going to level Malphite, no. It's just a 6-10 tough. Like, that's, you know, just huge, basically. But now we're not going to level it up. The sands of the great side provide. You disrupt our peace. I'm kind of worried about them stealing. I don't know, they're about to steal a mana gem from me. Alright, so yeah, so they have the same amount of mana that I do now. And everything, that's right, because they played a one mana unit on round one also. And make all these lucky finds. They just stole a mana gem from me. I'm going to eat their treasure seeker for that. Wow, this is actually bad. We're actually kind of getting killed over here. Closer, friend. We're kind of getting killed over here. Give me that. 
Yeah, we're we're down to 18 now. Wild menu. I do enjoy prospecting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the citrus courier cost five, because we've dealt damage to them. Heal the Tom Kench. Up. Oh. Well, so much for eating. I was gonna acquire taste that thing, so much for that. Okay, cool. Thanks for thanks for playing that for me. They have two waking stands still. Another Citrus Courier. Oh, Clock Hand. That thing's big. But I can just simply block with this fledgling Stellicorn. My fearsome Stellicorn. I can do this so I don't take the damage and and that stays alive. But now obviously Tom Kench is at one. I gotta figure out a way to win this game. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Bahai, you brunch to the rescue. All right, you will capture you. Let's get this Malphite <laughs> under Tom Kench. If only they gave keywords also. Why you run to give keywords also? Then our fledgling Stellicorn would be awesome. Wait. Why is Tom Kench not... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, why... <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, obviously we, we don't need to attack with these extra 5-2s in here. We can pass the rounds. Yes, Wave Rider. Healed it for five, right. Oh no! Okay, no leveled up champion, no overwhelm. Everything. Plus, didn't quite get rid of that anyway. Oh, you got the Tom Kent special event? Alright, so there is going to be a special event for us. Awesome, glad to hear. Yes, Tarek, okay. Tarek, cool. Okay, but Citrus Courier time? Oh, I don't get to play Tarek this round. Must be nice living off stolen coins. Now I'm gonna eat this 7 1. They can block Tom Kench, but it's lethal anyway. They have no cards in hand. All right, that was a, a difficult battle, but we, we're back to 26, though. Well, that was a difficult battle. All right, so now it's going to start getting more difficult. <laughs> Karma has an ability where, where she starts with 10 mana gems? What? I don't know how you beat that. That sounds ridiculous. All right, we we have too many six cost ally, uh, you know units and stuff like that. We can't take more. We got we gotta take this two cost. We gotta take some cheaper stuff. So Green Glade Duo, you are in here. Green Glade Duo will do a good job of enabling plunder for us. 
All right, we've le we have reached level five. New power, yes. When you summon an ally, give a plus one, plus one this round. Start of the game, create four time bombs in your deck. And round start, frostbite the strongest enemy this round. Okay, these are all kind of decent. I'm going to be taking this hold them off. Round start, frostbite the strongest enemy this round. I feel like that's going to be uh, really good with Tom Kench. Because whatever the strongest enemy is, we frostbite it. It goes to zero power. And then we can use Tom Kench's acquired taste to eat it. And I think that could be a really good combination. All right, we got a treasure chest. And we got some health things. So yeah, let's let's go to the health thing. So you said we can just, instead of actually healing our nexus, we can just delete some cards. Yeah, cut a card. Oh... We don't get to actually like choose. It just gives you three random ones. We don't get to actually choose. I don't want to cut any of these cards. So, leave. All those cards were good. What do we got here? Yeah, these are these are good cards. Devour depths of mate, but no. All right. Glittering chest. What do we got? Oh, sixty-five gold. So I got 255 gold now. There's probably more shops, aren't there? Let's see. There's that thing, which is a chest. Uh, I guess maybe there's no more shops to spend the gold at. So like maybe this is like the last place to actually spend the gold. Yeah, Sparrow says it makes sense to keep it random because good deck thinning is a plague in deck builders. Gotcha. Yeah, it's... Yeah, maybe make it too easy if it, you just got to choose instead of keep it random. I like it. All right, double trouble. For one cost, double trouble. That's not bad at all. Razor scale, costing not very much. Also not bad at all. Attack, nav one. So these are all good. Yeah, basically free river scale hunter. Once, once we play Tom Kench... Then it's one. Then it's one cost. River scale hunter, razor scale hunter to go along with like Tom Kench. But I get free spell mana every single round, and so this this is just a zero cost spell because I because I get free spell mana every round. When cast, and so you can maybe get another a second bastion, or more star shepherds, one four furies. Let's get let's get this Razor Skill Hunter. Alright. Razor Skill Hunter's in the deck. Game start, create a Sanctum Conservator in hand. We are where both gods and men find their end. Oh, Urlog says there will be more shops, we just can't see them yet. Uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have used all my gold there on that card. Yes. Treasure Trove. All right, this is a good opening hand. And there's our Tom Kench ability. We get that immediately. I want to play Spacey Sketcher, but I don't really want to discard any of these things. I guess I'll discard Citrus Courier, but I don't know. I don't know if I should be doing that. So they get the attack token first. How about that? That's different. Oh, I should just wait till next round to play that with the duo. We could go duo and then Serpent. What's up, Saigoomba? How you doing? We're playing this new game mode that is amazing. The Yordle here is with me. Full speed ahead. Hmm. This frostbite the strongest enemy every round is going to be nice. You played it with Twisted Fate? Cool. Alright, treasure trove. Let's hit Withering Wheel. What we got? Monster Harpoon. I, must be known. I guess we'll Monster Harpoon one of these things and block another. No. All in the shoulders. 
Why do we keep getting this fresh offerings card? <laughs> Keep getting fresh offerings. Never see us Just attack it right now. They're all zero ones over there. Ooh. I'm glad that we got rid of the Spirit's Journey before, uh, you know, before they killed it with Tom Ken. All right, here. Eat this six four. Bargain accepted. Let's make big Tom Kench. I really hope they don't have another one of those spirit journeys. Tarek doesn't work with the Bayou Brunch, because Bayou Brunch targets two different things. I mean, it does help for, like, leveling up Tarek. Observe the price of ambition. I'm ready to shine. You choose you. Or, wait, let me just do this thing. Let me just eat that. Excuse my impertinence. Allow them where they breathe. Man, this is pretty awesome. Round start, frostbite, <laughs> and then acquired taste. <laughs> Man, that is crazy. Call me king. Call me king. All right, Zacky boy. Have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow. Thanks so much for gifting out all the subs today and everything. I really appreciate that, Zacky boy. One life in exchange. Oh no, my six two went away. I should have attacked with my scout first or something. Oh man, my 6-2 went away. I mean... Tom Kench doesn't really need... The tough. Oh good. All right, still at 28. Yeah, so whenever you buy you brunch, the different cards, you do not get the keyword. So we don't get to make Tom Kench have, you know, uh, it doesn't get scout or anything like that. It, it just takes the stats. It takes the power and the health, but not the keywords. Okay, I like, I like Elixir of Iron and Lunari Shadestalker. I like both of those. I think I want to take one of those. The funny thing is we could have had a Nautilus earlier. I didn't take the Nautilus. Um, the thing is you have to add cards to your deck also. You don't get a choice. Let's take the Elixir of Iron. Just one mana spell for how expensive of allies that we have and everything. One mana spell is going to be worthwhile. All right, we got the Glittering Chest. We'll take the treasure. All right, got 166 gold. Ooh, we could fight Azir. Let's see if this is new cards to cut. No, same cards, okay. I thought it'd be the same cards. All right, looks like it's time to fight Azir. So ally sand soldiers everywhere have plus two, plus zero. Gross. All right, let's fight. First boss battle. Let's fight. Okay, they have a lot of blockers to start. All right, Mulligan, Mulligan. All right, this Death Lotus. See, this is why I kept the Death Lotus, because something like this could happen. All right, we get the Tom Kench for free. Ooh. By my side. It's a big responsibility to Fury with the Star Shepherd. Star Shepherd only turns into a 2 2? Oh, because I have to heal stuff to give it plus 2 plus 2 0, right? Um, Alright, well, 2 2's not, not bad. 
I'll save the Death Lotus for even more um, Sand Soldiers than that. There's always fighting eight punts, Pablo. Start the Should have stayed home, pal. Okay, well that worked out. So far, so good. See what we see, soldier. Fledgling mm -hmm. right, Stellicorn. Uh oh. This could be a good time for a Death Lotus. Because that seems like a lot of damage coming in. That thing's actually a little too big. I wanted to do this. Alright, guess it's still will. Yeah, I probably should just open attacks. I was thinking of like being able to get Terror to one out of seven. That's that's probably just not necessary. I think that was a mistake by me. I should have just I should just open attacks and then play Tom Catch afterwards. That would have been better, and then just frostbites. Yeah. That wasn't so, so good by me. Tom Kench, we'll get that 3-7 tough. Good thing it's got that tough. Alright, so we're going to eat the Azir. They just used another Azir. How many Azirs do you think they have in here? Probably not that many, right? Good thing we got the tough. Alright, Tarek is at 4 out of 7. Whoa! Delphina says, Today I learned you can get death from below from treasure trove. Dude, I had no idea that could happen. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't think about that at all. You can get death from below from from treasure trove. Spill paint is just accidental art. Oh man, these things are big. I'm gonna take six. Then we're gonna heal for three. That thing's too big. I don't have enough mana for strong armor. I don't get to attack. Well, okay, no, no, this this game's tough. Okay, I can still attack with these. Because I I want to attack because I want to try. To, I'm trying to level up this Taric. <laughs> it's a slow process, but I'm, I'm getting there eventually. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. All right, chomp. It's too late now. The Emperor's favor upon you. I am very strong like a mountain because I am a mountain. Oh wait, does this count? Nah, that doesn't count. Let's hope it would. Unyielding. 
You and what army? Okay, Azir has been defeated. We defeated the first boss. I have risen. And we Even though Azir has reap. risen. Risen to the grave. Victory is a thing of beauty. Okay. GG's. Whoa, we get a Twisted Fate? When I'm someone draw a card with Twisted Fate? Dude, we can get a lot of champions. Let's get more champions. I wish I kind of wish I took the Nautilus now. Wish we had more champions. Alright, let's go this way. When allies attack, summon a random one-cost follower. That's not bad. Come about, blast ye, or if the enemy don't have your hides, I will. <laughs> Old Jagged Taskmaster. Yeah, so now, we, now we're playing Twisted Fate and Kench. And Tom Kench, we got them both. To go along with our, our Malphite Taric deck. I wish I would've taken Nautilus. Could've had that too. All right, we'll get our champs. We'll find them again when we need them. We'll, we got our treasure, our round three treasure trove. Into round four Tom Kent. That's the best start we got. In our Bilgewater, Freljord, Ionia, Targon, Noxus deck. We should be trying to get like every single region. I'll just block. I don't want to take the damage. I know I only saved two life, but that's fine. We're about to get some cool stuff with this treasure trove. Let's see what we get. Maybe a death from below? Okay, at least they're not all two mana cards. We got the Star Spring. Star Spring Tom Kench? Yes. Jaw Hunters making a Sea Scarab. Cool. And then I guess I'm going to capture this Mage Seeker Conservator because I don't really want them to have that 6 plus cost spell. So give me that. Alright, you kill that. And y'all just attack. Oh, we, we missed the Lurk? We are so unlucky. That's a crazy round three, though. <laughs> That's a crazy round three. Bastion. Lucky you, and the last thing you'll see. All right, how we how we healing this Nexus? Let's take you. You're a five five. No, let's take the 3 6. Yeah, so we need Demacia, Piltover and Zon, Shadow Isles, and Sharima. Those are the four regions we don't have. Wait! Oh no! I did it the wrong way. Whoops. Alright, I gotta save that. Whoops. Alright, you challenge that. I guess we're just gonna make the biggest overwhelm we can. Let's <laughs> make it a 714. I guess that's the plan now. <laughs> Alright. Man, this is sweet. Victory! I kind of hope that they, they add on some more difficult difficult settings, though, also. All right, Jailbreak. When cast, cast me again on the same target. So it's just summon two for one mana. One mana Guiding Touch or Zenith Blade that gets a Poro. I think I want the Guiding Touch. I think Guiding Touch is going to be the best card out of these. Healer Nexus 2 or Heal Something Else 2 plus draw a card. 
Drawing cards always good. Okay, we get item for a champion. We could give. Oh, none of. I guess. Again, barrier just isn't really that important, right? So I guess elusive is the best, and so elusive the twisted fate. I guess twisted fate's the best champion out of the three. Got two extra health, so 24 out of 30. I need to heal my Nexus some. Let's travel to, the, to this guy. See if we got a good card to cut. Okay, I can cut the Lounging Lizard. Cut all copies of Lounging Lizard from the deck. I think I'm okay with that. I don't think I really want this Lounging Lizard. All right, so now we are going this way. Looks like we got to go this way. Nowhere else to go. Profit Seekers. Where is this one from? My friend, you ask too many questions. Do you want it or not? Hard Fought Heist. Round start, you have a 50% chance of creating a lucky find in hand. The opponent has a 25% chance. I like it. Okay, so we have a 25% chance of creating a lucky find each, each round. Yeah, we got an elusive Twisted Fate. What's up, Max? Yeah, the stream is going great. I'm, I am really loving this new game mode, and that's what we're doing, is we're just trying it out and enjoying it, having fun. And that's what we're doing today. We started with Tom Kench, but now we also have Twisted Fate. So we got both. Our Slippery Wave Rider will be healing our Nexus. It heals for five. Oh, they made their lucky find. Oh, fearsome. Can't block. Can't block, won't block. This is... It's kind of different where the opponent has the attack token on the first rounds, right? <laughs> This frostbite thing, is, this frostbite power, pretty strong. Oh, they got a lucky find. But we also got a lucky find. Alright, how many cards do we have in hand? We have six. So that means I can't actually play this treasure trove. At least not like this. So we need to... Need to play this to clear up a spot. Because we have to have only five cards in hand. Regen? Regen's not a thing. I guess... Spell shield. I don't think tough really matters for that thing with one health. I would have preferred to play the treasure trove first, but okay. Hmm. All right, getting two treasures into the deck, and now we'll be able to predict. Those are not treasures. Skip. We'll go Bloodletter. Reinforcements. I guess that just does the one damage to the Elite and gives that the plus one. I guess I think it's a two three now, so. Okay. Not a bad round three. Playing a shipwreck quarter and all this other stuff. Why didn't I just challenge that with the box? Finally, some action. Alright, you will capture you. Okay, we want to capture the shipwreck order. Let's do it correctly this time. So that once we level up Tom Kent, shipwreck order comes back, puts two more treasures into the deck, tosses two again. Yeah, okay, Max says, do you have any advice for avoiding tilting while laddering? I've been stuck at Diamond 4 for the past few days, and it's pretty frustrating. It is always frustrating whenever, you know, like, you're you're on a losing streak, or, you know, like, that's, you know, that, that happens to happens to me, happens to everybody. You know, you'll be at the same spot in the ladder for a few days, and you just can't, can't uh, advance because things just aren't going your way. That, that happens, and so I guess as far as... Um, avoiding the tilting, you just gotta gotta kind of understand that that's that's going to happen, and things are you know kind of cyclical, 
if that's the word, um, where some days, come on. Some days will be your day, some days won't be your day, and you know, sometimes you'll have some bad streaks in a row. Instead of maybe focusing too much though on, okay, man, I'm, I'm having you know, these bad streaks and stuff, and and you're focusing too much on on winning and losing, maybe just focus on learning like each game instead of like, just realize like wins are gonna come, losses will happen also, like that's gonna happen, just each game kind of focus on learning and, and especially if you're playing one deck and you're trying to, to grind with it, really be learning your deck, on, you know, learning um, you know, like what's working, what's not working, what you're struggling against, what what other cards out there can you maybe play that will help you out. You know, if you're if that's what your mindset and you're just focusing on those things, maybe you won't be paying as close attention to the losses, um, and maybe maybe that helps out. Because just understand that l losses are going to happen, and everybody loses a lot, <laughs> and so it's okay. You know, so don't don't get frustrated by losing. Everybody loses a lot. It, you know, just try to learn, get better, and lose less, <laughs> you know, but you'll still be losing, but, you know, just try to lose less in the future. Um, yeah, Saigoomba also says, I'll switch decks if, if you're on a losing streak to give you mental rest, that's a good thing. I'll also, like, like, if I'm on, like, a, a bad losing streak also, sometimes you just gotta put, put the game down, and, like, I'll go take Puppy Dog out, outside and just walk, you know, go take Puppy on a, on a walk outside. And that also, you know, just clear your mind up and stuff like that. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta do that. Just kind of get out of the room and put it down, and ref, you know, just refresh your mind and stuff. That's that's always um, important. Play a cast cannon barrage on randomly targeted enemies for each card you've drawn this round up to five times. So it's really only gonna do one. Robin's kind of the best card here. Boom Ship is only doing one damage, then giving me a powder keg. But like, what am I doing with this powder keg? But then again, hmm. I don't ever I like. I don't use my spell mana all the time, right? Like, we're getting free spell mana a lot, but I don't have spells to play. Robin's the best card, though. I think I'll just take the Robin. Robin's the best card. Let's just, just take the best card. That's a. That's probably a good tried and true strat. Take the best card. All right, we'll travel on over. See what we can cut. Oh, do we need to cut my Eclipse Dragon? No, we, we can't cut my Eclipse Dragon. The Brash Gambler. Hopefully some stuff there helps you out. Max and... Okay, we got a Health Potion. We have the attack token now, right away. Gonna keep the spacey sketcher and send the rest back. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's what's going on over here? Okay, enemy power. Round start nab one. What? Round start nab one? Yo, that is broken. Okay, so at least they let us know what they nab, so that's different. So they they tell you what they nab. Okay, so they nab a Star Shepherd and a Mountain Sojourners. It's a big responsibility so far. To stars. Here. So at least there's that. They let you know what they nab. No, t stop taking all my Mountain Sojourners. I like them. All right, Malphite. I think you're gonna go, buddy. I know, I know, I feel bad too. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Paint your feelings. No, the stars. Hmm. I'm planning on having the moon glow with Tom Kench. Actually, pretty strong. The round start nab one, but I am the great Mario. <laughs> oh, that's not a very good five drop. But now we got the strong arms, so we can go ahead and retake our own. Um, 
our own unit that they have. Like, like they play Mountain Sojourners, we can eat it. You know, we can take it back from Strongarm. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Okay, send send these two in. We're in this together. Right. That's right. Give me that back. I wonder if I would eat that with the acquire taste, how that actually works. Wait, they now have the treasure trove? No, that's the best card in my deck. But I wonder how that works, like if I if I eat it and then you know obliterate enemies and release allies, like is this would it count as an ally? That's fine. No slowing down. Easy for you to say. I love the round star frostbite plus acquire taste. Just round start, two mana, which I have free mana, so <laughs> round start for free. Eat their largest thing. Appetizers are Are these summon effects? No. No. Citrus Curse play. Flip Dragons play. Is this summoned? Ooh, Wave Rider is a summon. But I only have so much Nexus Elf to heal. But I can I can Wave Rider and then Bayou Brunch it. I guess. Okay, 4-4. Four, four. Alright, so my plan was Eclipse Dragon, and I think I'm gonna just stick with that plan. Yeah, I think I'm just sticking with that plan. be a thing. I might run out of cards. Let me eat that. It's too late now. All right, we're gonna heal our Nexus. Now we're gonna mount the no Easy for you to say. Stellacorn. So it does have spell shield, which makes it more difficult. Okay, so yeah, so that does count as an enemy, not an ally. We don't we don't release it. It makes it more difficult to eat that fledgling Stellacorn. Are right, they down to 12? I'm one mana short. I, I want to strong arm the black market merchant and then and then play it to steal their own thing. Give them a taste of their own medicine, but we're a mana short from being able to do that. Allow me a small sample. And that should be game. Dude, these mountain sojourners, they're not fooling around. Alright, we got a pretty good Tom Kench deck, especially that power, the frostbite power with Tom Kench. And then also getting the free spell mana every round, so those acquire tastes, we have the mana for them also. Yeah, we got a pretty good Tom Kench deck here.
Choose a reward. <laughs> Envious Vox could be a sea monster. Heal your Nexus equal to my cost. We're gonna do that with the box. Again, we don't ha we have like lots of units already. Um, let's just have something a defensive tool just in case something crazy happens. Also heal heal in the Nexus. Let's go ahead and get that one. Okay, here we go. Now, yeah, here's some more stores. All right, let's go to this chest. What do we got? Eh. Elixir of Iron already has the when I'm summoning someone a random one cost Poro. So now we'll just have two of those when I'm summoning someone a random one cost Poro. Or we're going to have four mana strong arm or six mana eclipse dragon. Eh. <laughs> I guess six cost eclipse dragon. Travel. Let's see what we can cut. These are not cards to cut. Alright, we can... Oh, we have to what? We have to use a health to pay for these. Or oh, wait, no, no, no. Cut a card? But then minus one health. We can cut cards. I don't really want to cut any of these. We could cut the health potion, I guess. Eh, they're fine. When an enemy is summoned, give it minus two, minus zero this round. Okay, so all of our enemies, whenever we summon them, get minus two, minus zero this round. Yeah, my, my Twisted Fate really is elusive. Yeah, we haven't seen him ever in our hand. That's right, we have not gotten that. We are winning, Mayor Manuel. Yep, so far, so good. Aha, there you go. You just had to say something, Erolog. Yep, you just had to say something, and now Twisted Fate shows up. Sojourners plus Tarek. It's pretty nice. I guess I'll, I'll keep all this. We're going to get a Tom Kench also. We got to find something for round two, round three. So this could be a mistake. We don't find things for round two, round three, keeping all this. Oh, we found stuff. No reason to play these other cards, because they will get the minus two, minus zero. All right, we've got a wide variety of four mana champions that we can play however we like. What? Don't you want to like slay something first and then play that card? That's right. Run! I guess not. I guess they're, yeah, they'll just do that. Okay. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Tom Kenshin play immediately for these acquire tastes. Of course, that thing is just gonna die to red card. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and red card, get rid of the spell shield. That thing's still pretty powerful. Alright, let's eat up a Krusty Codger with this free mana. Basically just getting closer to um, Tom Kench level up. Oh, and now I got this extra Acquire Taste I won't be able to play. I'll take the spell. It's free. Let us prove this establishment fair. Alright, we'll eat that. It's too late now. I want to play the Mountain Sojourners and buff Tom Kench with that. We love it when they run. Yeah. No we can also buff Twist of Fate. Like Twist of Fate a 4 4 elusive. Always provides. Paint your feelings. Dude, our deck is pretty cool. 
Where there's a will, there's a meal. The box. Whoa, uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, eight four overwhelm. We have not leveled they've not leveled champion, so eight four overwhelm. Um I should have made Tom Kench bigger. So I can I guess Alright, I guess we're doing this. That's it just courier anyway. Spell shield should help. <clears throat> oh yeah, now Tom Kench levels up. Again, the Crusher Codger is a play, so it doesn't it doesn't take that two damage whenever it just gets resummoned. Coming back out here. The shield of Valoran. Oh, breaker! Indeed, I am both. I desire a different thing. Where there's a will, there's a meal. I do enjoy prosperity. Okay, nothing to play to target. Unyielding. It's possible that pick a card, putting like a unit back counts as a target for Taric, if that's possible. Yeah, Frostbite Kench. A little unfair. A little unfair, I'll, I'll give you that. Alright, we need to keep healing our Nexus. This, is, this should be just attacking for lethal, so just playing this to heal the Nexus. So we're at 28 life. Up now. Um. Lady Luck is smiling. Never submit. Pathetic. All right, because I think we're about to go face Gangplank. I think we're about to go face the final, final boss. What a I think Gangplank's the last, the last one left. Oh, really? Emmanuel says, you think that Tom Kench is the easiest champion in this mode? Yeah, I would have figured that Tom Kench was just the most difficult. That's why I took it. Oh, we could have double Veil Temple? Or two mana Lure of the Depths? Or Aerophant have Tough? I kind of want to take the two mana Lure of the Depths, just because, again, we just don't use our spell mana hardly at all. So we could just have this spell. I like the tough thing, but I'm just going to take the spell. We have reached level 7. Yes, we get a new power. Okay, start of the game, summon a random landmark from your deck. Oh, I could have had Veil Temple. That would have given me so much mana. When you summon an ally, give it Challenger this round is what I'm going to take. I don't think I need the lookouts. Um, so the, the Challenger this round should help out with the... Uh, with the frostbite stuff immediately. All right, let's check out this shop. All right, so we can buy everything three times. Okay, what do we got? We got more powder. Start of the game. Draw me if not in your hand. Okay, but I don't really have any use for you. Whoa, razor skill hunter has plus three plus three. But then it already had. It's like a one cost plus three plus three. Okay, we kind of need this razor skill hunter. Not gonna lie. The flight with fearsome. Eh. Jailbreak, draw a card. Jailbreak, draw a card's not bad, either. Let's get this Rage of Scale Hunter, though. And let's get more copies of it. When an ally dies, refill your spell mana. We just don't really need that. Alright, I like this. Jailbreak, draw cards. Because, you know, it'll just replace itself. Okay, um, Mountain Sojourner is fine, but I think it's kind of fine as is. I only have two health to heal, but might as well heal the two health if I'm not going to be cutting the card. We're about to go to the final boss. Um, cut some cards. Honestly, maybe we just cut the Devourer Depths. We kind of have a lot of six cost things, or maybe the health potions. Yeah, let's actually cut health potion. Oh, I could have done this before. 
Okay, yeah, you get cut. I don't need you, fledgling Stellarhorn. Lure the Daps. I should have done this before that healing, obviously. Okay, I, yeah, I don't really need you, Lure the Daps. Alright, I will keep all those. So that's interesting. So that's how the... That's how that works. That's interesting. Go back and heal. This was the other shop that I thought that maybe we could spend some, some gold on. Let's see what's in the shop. Okay, so the, so more Wave Riders, more Razor Skill Hunters for 40. Let's take another wave. Yeah, let's just take more of these Razor Skill Hunters. Double Troubles, let's buy these. Sunforger attack nav one with lifesteal. Alright, I'm in there. Then I can get another wave rider that heals my nexus or a sunforger attack nav one lifesteal. Okay, that's going to be our deck. Pretty high curve. We got our three powers. What's our last power? Oh yeah, all of our things have challenger. It's not that high of a curve. Look at all these things that cost one. That's a lot of things that cost one. We have six Razor Skill Hunters. Hopefully having six Razor Skill Hunters won't backfire. I rarely forget and never forgive. All right, final, final boss. Here we go. Enemy powers, the Saltwater Scourge. Epic, round start, deal one damage to the enemy nexus and summon a powder keg. The first time you start the round with less than 20 health, summon a dreadway. Okay, so once they go under 20, they just get a dreadway for free. And then every round, our nexus takes one. Okay, good. Just, I want to double check and make sure that we're at 32. We're at full health. Okay, let's go. We have our six region, four champion deck. Strong arm gone, Tom Kench gone, the box. Eh, we'll keep the box. Rusty Codger with the Challenger. Wish I had the box to kill that thing. All right, Frostbite. Alright, pass. Make it rain doing two. No thank you. Alright, so get good use out of the box. That's good use for the... For the the box. And I'm going to send you back, Wave Rider. Don't think I need you. Yeah, I won't play the monkey out. <laughs> I know, right? So many regions. Basically got them all. Oh no! Boom ship. These things don't actually have Challenger right now. Okay, they blocked anyway. Cool. So they got 40 life. I'm taking one each round. Yes, they didn't kill my Tom Kench. I am on benched. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, let's eat this first. 4-5 Quick Attack Challenger. That was probably the 
want to see them having. Just a little farther. Right behind you. Oh dang. Hmm. What's up, Agent Iowa? So is this worth it? Maybe not. I really need them to play something before attacking with this gangplank. Good. We need to eat this gangplank up. They really are doing a lot of Nexus damage. These infinite powder kegs. Good card to Nam. Because it's my card. All my cards are great. <gasps> Treasure Trove! Okay, we gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. How are we going to do this? Okay, a Kato? Get excited. Alright, you are a 2-6 right now, Tom Kench. Need you to have... Oh, I can't, I can't do that plus Acquire Taste. Acquire Taste actually costs mana. Everything has Challenger also? Alright, let's just play this. No, I may actually want that after combat. Okay. Oh man, Kato plus Horn to the Dragon? Alright, do we hit Noxus Allegiance? Nothing but Noxian might. We did not hit Nox Noxus Allegiance. I guess it was technically possible that I could. Alright, so we can give this, uh, let's see, support, support, support. So that thing's going to be a 9-8 double attack overwhelm. Which could do a lot more damage to them by challenging something else, but I'll just, um... Let's see... I'll just kill the gangplank. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That does six nexus damage. I'm gonna have to use you, Bastion. I don't want to take six Nexus damage. Alright, that was a heck of a treasure trove for us. Do another three for good measure. Play this Dredge Dredgers also for good measure. Okay! <laughs> yeah, I just always... Says this game mode is stupid fun, I know, right? Alright, so they're under oh they're at twenty, so whenever they're at twenty they just get a free dreadway. And the dreadway draws another gangplank. Oh no. Okay, well I can eat this. I don't I didn't buff up my Tom Kench, so I can't eat gangplank. I need to buff up the Tom Kench, didn't I? Alright, so at least the Dreadway's gone. But this could still do three to all my stuff. It says six, but the Dreadway's gone, so three to all my stuff. Five to all my stuff? Got a gift for you. I need you to block. 
five to all my stuff? Gross. Alright, we should still have this, though. Because we're going to have Citrus Courier here now, also. Let us this so let's go double attack. Overwhelm. Yeah. That'll do. That is a victory for Tom Kench. To we have survived the Saltwater Scourge. And taken down Gangplank. Gangplank's a powerful... That's a powerful boss fight, too. That is sweet. Yes. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so our final stats. Um, wealth, 1346. So don't, don't you get like a certain number? Maybe just the gold, the 1346. Is that, is that the, I guess that's your like final score. We only got to level 7 out of 8. How do you get to level 8? Because we, we defeated everything, I thought. Deaths, time, and wealth in total. Okay, so for how much time? So like how I... Like if you have to beat it quickly? There we go. So now it says... Now it has these two things on there. It is my mouth into which all travels in. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out what those mean. Um, later. Okay, so, yeah, because that was, that, that run was about an hour and 50 minutes, was that run. Um, okay, so those are, those are scoring badges. Yeah, so to see what kind of score you can get with them. Okay, so yeah, because I, I took my time and, you know, read everything and all that kind of stuff, and we were streaming and, and, you know, that kind of stuff, so it was about an hour and 50 minutes for that, but, yeah, we could do it faster if we were, uh, racing. I didn't know that there was a time for the score. Anyway, that's a ton of fun. That was awesome. That was a really good adventure. And if you play it again, yeah, your map's going to look different. So yeah, this map looks looks different. So then you have Karma. Okay, so yeah, you play it again, you get a different um, a different champion for the other one, and then the map looks different also. Really cool. And so it just has that, that uh, replayability. And then, you know, you can try again. That's really, really cool. Um. All right. That's going to be it here for the Saltwater Scourge. Our first try with Tom Kench. Lots of fun. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Give me those stories. Which champions did you choose? Which champion did you choose right away? What kind of cool powers and level ups did you get? All that kind of stuff. We would love to hear about it. What was your experience with it? Um, yeah, want to hear about it. All right, but that's going to be it here for this Lab of Legends with Tom Kench. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.